Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Madden 21 Ultimate Team video, and today we got the three Derwin versus the World players stats revealed. We already knew who they were, but we got their stats revealed, so I'm going to be going over their stats in this video, and I'm going to be going over the revealed limited time card that is going to be coming tomorrow with the limited edition promo. A bunch of new card stats to go over, but before we get in the video, guys, make sure you guys drop a like down below and subscribe and notice on if you guys have been enjoying the vids and you want to miss any coming out in the future without further ado let's get right into the stats of these brand new derwin vs the world cards and the brand new limited edition card we're getting tomorrow starting off i think it's pretty fair that we go over the guy that i am most excited about we got nick chubb now one thing i want to say before i get into going over these cards the way these cards are going to work with the power-ups right is so we're not going to be able to get some of these cards well you're going to get your first 90 next tuesday if you um watched all the streams so far which i have so i'm probably gonna be getting nick chubb next tuesday and then obviously another five weeks and another five weeks after that so we're gonna be getting these by january or february i can't remember the exact date but by then we are gonna have a fantasy pack where you're gonna be able to choose one i believe i don't know if it's gonna be challenges or something like that but Kralo did say on the good morning men's stream that there's gonna be a way to earn a 90 overall if you missed it so you can go ahead and complete the derma james set and another thing they said is as soon as any of these three players get an upgrade whether it's jalen ramsey nick chubb or keenan allen this player is going to be available to go into the power up set so currently they are not available to go into the power up set but let's say nick chubb i don't know let's say he gets a team of the week hero in the next couple weeks because he's been going off right you can go ahead and use this nick chubb in the power up set and then you'll be able to get him up a little bit higher and maybe waste a little bit of less training but without rambling anymore let's go ahead and get into this nick chubb stats he's 511 230 kind of short but extremely powerful 88 speed 87 excel 87 jump 89 agility 80 strength really good strength on a running back but pretty dang agile for a guy of his size like he's a little bit shorter but he's big he's big and bulky and he's pretty dang fast for a guy of his size 87 truck 80 change of direction 91 ball carry vision 91 carry and 93 break tackle along with an 86 stiff arm and an 82 juke extremely good at ball carry stuff right here really good trucking and stiff arm um extremely good conservative ball carrier and gonna break every tackle that comes in front of him can juke a little bit and can catch out of the backfield a tiny bit but nick chubb there's gonna be a guy you can hand the ball 20 times a game if you really need to and he's gonna be able to keep going and keep pushing the pace and trucking over everyone breaking every tackle and just gonna be a consistently good running back on any team and i'm really excited that browns nick chubb is getting an upgrade i'm really excited to add this guy to the team next tuesday Next up, we got Jalen Ramsey. Now, Jalen Ramsey's cards in men have been historically great, so I'm super excited about this one. He's 6 1, 208, so not too bad right there. 88 speed, 90 excel, 86 agility, 89 jump, 88 awareness, along with 88 play rec. Very, very agile and good awareness, good play rec, but extremely agile, extremely athletic, and extremely speedy for a corner. Um, very, very good coverages. Like this, honestly, this is a very, very good card in, in comparison to like. Um, Denzel Ward not quite there speed wise but up there for sure um reminds me a lot of the Cortland Finnegan card we got really really good speed and stuff right here very well balanced um athletic wise but extremely good coverage man he will hit the threshold on all these if you run lockdown decent enough hands will come down with interceptions and actually a pretty good run defender 77 hit power 70 pursuit and a 68 tackle gonna do good stuff right there can't really block shit but gonna definitely lay some hit um lay some big hits on some guys and gonna be able to tackle pretty well but the coverages are insane on this card extremely athletic extremely agile extremely speedy fits on a couple theme teams uh jaguars and rams to be exact um uh, can't wait for this guy to get an upgrade if i was not running a browns theme team this guy would be essential to pick up for my team but yeah that's what jalen ramsey's looking like now let's get to the last derwin james versus the world player Oh, and one thing I must say is that obviously Derwin James is in this promo. He has a 97 overall card that is auctionable. You need to turn in all three of these players for that Derwin James card. So we're going to be getting that in 11 weeks, I believe. So January, pretty much, I believe is when we're getting that. But we're going to go ahead and go over this Keenan Allen card. 6'2", 211, so pretty big receiver. But 87 speed, 89 excel, 89 agility, 87 jump, 89 awareness. 87 speed is definitely, be, definitely usable at this point in the game. It's really, really nice to see Keenan Allen get usable speed because... Last year, he had n he was not usable. He did not have usable speed, but 87 speed right now in the game is usable for sure. Up there um, with some of the... But, uh, I mean, comparison to Keenan Allen-wise, that's really good speed. So it's really nice 
stuff to see there. 89 agility is good. 87 jump. 68 strength honestly isn't bad for a receiver, but really consistent here. 87 catch, 88 catch of traffic, 86 spec catch. Really solid catching stats. 90 short, 88 mid, 85 deep. Will hit already hits the threshold on short. Will hit the threshold on medium and um if you really tried could hit the threshold on deep really good release as well but the deep is quality enough not really much of a blocker um 53 run block is okay i guess but after the catch he's pretty good 50, 85 change of direction 90 ball carry vision not really gonna uh, fumble the ball too much for that 84 carrying and the ball carry vision but he's got 93 juke 80 spin as well with an 81 break tackle and a 74 stiff arm so we'll break it we'll break tackles for sure and could definitely make a move after the catch but extremely extremely consistently good receiving cat uh, receiving stats i should say pretty dang athletic for a keenan allen card definitely going to be able to compete and definitely a usable card and after the catch he's pretty dang good so definitely not a bad card at all like i said at the beginning of the video you will not be able to add this card into power up sets until he gets another upgrade that's the same with nick chubb and jalen ramsey so it'll be interesting to see when these guys get upgrades all three of them, I would not be surprised if they get Team of the Weeks, or if we get like a flashback Jalen Ramsey on the Rams, I wouldn't be surprised. Or we get like a most fear Nick Chubb just because how powerful he is and how many tackles he breaks, I wouldn't be surprised about that. But yeah guys, those were all of the brand new Derwin James vs. the World card stats. Now let's get right into the card limited time reveal for tomorrow. Alright, as you guys can see, the limited time that we did get revealed coming tomorrow is going to be Micah Hyde. Now, Micah Hyde, this card actually looks really, really solid. Um, a good comparison would definitely be um, Tyron Matthew. They kind of fit in the same boat. They're pretty similar cards, except Tyron Matthew's got much better hit power, I must say. Uh, but Micah Hyde going to move really well as a slot corner or just a deep safety, but he's not really going to lay the boom, which kind of sucks. But so this Micah Hyde, 90 speed. It's finally really nice to see them respecting my man speed normally he is so slow in madden like i even saw this at the beginning of the year when i ranked the 82 overall um pre-order cards i had mike hyde in my top 10 because his speed was actually good this year and he was a very good safety because he had really good zone coverage but this year micah hyde is really good because of that speed 90 speed 90 excel at safety is really really good gonna be all over the field but sadly he can't lay the boomstick 82 speed 93 play rate is really good 80 did, did i say 82 speed 80 tackle 87 pursuit 88 man and 93 zone gonna play absolutely insane in coverage 88 man will hit the threshold with some chems 93 zone is absolutely insane deeps he's not gonna get burnt at all 87 pursuit is pretty good but he's he's so athletic with 90 speed 90 excel it'll be interesting to see some of his other stats like pursuit and stuff but he's gonna keep up really well one of the better safeties in the game for sure um i believe these cards are up to 91 because i believe denzel ward was a 90 correct i believe denzel ward was a 90 and i believe last week's were 90s as well so these cards are up one overall which is nice but Micah Hyde looks like an extremely good card. Like I said, he's not really a run-stuffing safety. He's going to be really good as a nickel corner and going to be really good as a deep safety who's mainly used in coverage. But this card, if you know how to use him right, he looks extremely good. But yeah, guys, those were the Derwin James vs. the World Player stats. And that was the limited time reveal we did get for tomorrow. Obviously, we got one more limited coming tomorrow, so I'm going to make a video in the morning. Going Well, not in the morning because I have school, but I will be making a video tomorrow going over all these player stats once I get the chance. But yeah, guys, that is going to be the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe when he's on. But yeah, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out.